For one of the most exciting gay travel destinations in the world, we added a stop in gay Miami before we head back to Mexico. We're here in South Beach, ready to enjoy the best gay beaches, gay hotels, gay bars and restaurants in this super sexy city. Hey guys, we're two gay expats. I'm Andy. And I'm Trey, and our tour through the southern U.S. continues this week from New Orleans, Louisiana to Miami, Florida. Miami is a major tourist destination drawing the second most international travelers to the United States just after New York City. It's also super popular with the LGBT traveler. The epicenter of Gay Miami is the 12th Street Gay Beach. You'll find loungers for hire here as well as sexy guys in Speedos. Here, as well as Loomis Park, fronting the beach makes for the best people watching. For a little fitness before the beach, it's always hot to work out at Muscle Beach on 9th Street. Across the street from the park on Ocean Drive are also numerous Miami Beach icons. If you've seen the movie The Birdcage, which is one of my favorite movies, you'll recognize the iconic landmark Art Deco hotel behind me, the Carlisle. It was used as Robin Williams and Nathan Lane's personal residence, as well as their gay nightclub in the movie. It's definitely a highlight of Gay Miami Beach. Another landmark here in Miami Beach is Gianni Versace's former mansion, which is directly behind us. He unfortunately was killed on the steps back in 1997, but today it is a fabulous hotel and restaurant, and it also has a premium location just across from the Gay Beach. Speaking of hotels, the best located gay hotel is the Axel Beach Miami, this hetero-friendly gay resort is just one block from the beach and offers guests a huge pool, spa and gym, as well as a restaurant and the popular Sky Bar. As we like to support gay hotels whenever possible, this is our home for the next few days. Miami also has its very own LGBT Visitor Center located just a couple of blocks back on Washington Street from Ocean Drive between 11th and 12th Streets. There's also City Hall here as well as the Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce which has some very interesting statistics on the gay market. According to their website, the LGBT market spends in excess of $917 billion annually in the United States. Also, there are 1.2 million LGBT visitors here to Miami every year, spending in excess of $1.7 billion. So we just left the LGBT Visitor Center and had a great experience there. The Visitor Center representative was like, where are you guys he headed today? We were like, oh, we're gonna go to the drag show at the palace. And he was like, oh, that's amazing. You're gonna have so much fun. And he also recommended going to our house over in Wynwood. There are, there's another drag brunch there um, on the weekends, and it's also stunning over there. The Wynwood walls are amazing. There's like beautiful artwork all over, and you can just kind of make your way through. A lot of great shops and restaurants there. So if you're looking for a little escape while you're on South Beach, definitely head over to Wynwood. It's definitely worth it. As is the drag brunch at Palace South Beach, it's located just a few doors down from the former Versace mansion and has been entertaining the LGBT community for over three decades. It's an unforgettable experience with some iconic queens and the energy here is next level. You're guaranteed to have a great time. Palace was also granted permission by the city to decorate the 12th Street corner sign and crosswalk with rainbow colors to mark the location as a South Beach LGBT landmark. It's definitely heating up here on South Beach. It is the afternoon now and definitely the temperature is rising. So we are gonna head to the Delano. It is a hotel that used to be absolutely fabulous with a gorgeous pool and they are selling everything to make way for a new hotel. It's the old Ian Schrager property here. So we're gonna go check out the sale there and then we're probably, it's gonna be time to head to the beach and get in the water. It's really hot already. Let's go. <laughs> So a pro tip about the AXA Hotel, your resort fee does include free loungers at the beach, but two caveats. It is the 15th Street Beach, which is not the gay beach, at 12th Street, and also the loungers don't include an umbrella, so that's an additional charge, but they do give you beach towels in your room. So we were like, no, we're good, thanks. We're just gonna head down to the gay beach where we are now and lay out our towels. We have some waters and sunscreen, and uh, yeah, that's our pro tip for the AXA Hotel. It is. There is also another gay beach in Miami. It's just north of here at Hallover, and that one is clothing optional. It's also a super popular choice. You really can't go wrong with either. 
we are back at the Axel after the beach and we are going to do a quick refresh and then we are gonna check out their sky bar here and then we are excited to have dinner and then head to Twist later tonight. Twist is by far the biggest and best gay club here in South Beach, Miami. Um, there's like, I think seven different bars um, on multiple levels. It's super fun. I've been coming to this bar for like two decades. It's a blast. So we're super excited to check that out. And is it your first time tonight? It is. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully it's just as good as I remember. Beautiful. Yeah. Bon appetito. <laughs> There's never a cover at Twist, but FYI, the club is strict on the no sandals policy to get inside. With seven bars, you can literally bar hop without ever leaving the club. My favorite has always been the bungalow bar for the amazing bartenders and go-go dancers. If you are planning a trip to Miami, let's talk logistics. You will most likely fly into Miami International Airport. The airport code is MIA. We had quite the experience yesterday flying in. We we're supposed to fly into Miami in the morning and ended up flying to Fort Lauderdale later in the evening after our flight was diverted due to air traffic control issues. But even if you, so pro tip is basically to look for both Miami and Fort Lauderdale as it was only $49 to take an Uber to Axel Beach from Fort Lauderdale. And it was about the same price from Miami International Airport last night because it was so incredibly busy there. It should only take around 20 to 30 minutes and only 25 to $30 for a Lyft or an Uber from Miami International Airport to South Beach where we are here at the Axel Beach so just know both are great options if you're flying into Miami or Fort Lauderdale to come to South Beach. For gay hotels you have a couple of fabulous choices here in South Beach. First up is where we're staying this time, the Axel Beach Miami. They have sister properties in Barcelona with an amazing rooftop pool and bar. They also have a great pool here as well as a sky bar in the evening, which is a great spot to have a cocktail before you head out for your evening. The other great option for a gay hotel in Miami is the Gathering Hotel. They have beautiful rooms, but they also have something quite unique, which is a crate system. And the crates are basically like a loft and they're separated by um, like plywood and you have a communal shower. It's a great hostel option if you're looking for something a little bit more on the budget side. For the best gay restaurants in Miami, you are not gonna wanna miss the amazing drag brunch at the Palace. The girls there are super fun. It's an amazing experience. Also, we can highly recommend the Betsy. They have a great brunch as well as a beautiful dinner. And then for something a little on the touristy side, Joe's Stone Crab is has always been a popular choice for decades and decades. It's a super fun spot as well with delicious seafood. As far as gay beaches go, you have the super popular 12th Street Gay Beach here on South Beach. But for another option for the gay nude beach, head up to Hallover, which is about 20 to 30 minutes north of where we are here at the Axel. As far as gay gyms here in South Beach, you have a bunch of fabulous options. There is of course a small fitness center here at the Axel, but there's also a crunch nearby, but why not try working out at Muscle Beach? There's plenty of eye candy to inspire you before you get into that speed out. We just got back to Miami from Key West. You wanna check out that video, click on the info card above. We are at the Gathering this time on our return, which is the second gay resort here on Miami Beach other than the Axel Beach. I've actually stayed here before in one of the crate rooms. It's like a hostel with like shared facilities, but this time we've upgraded to a Junior King. It's actually quite spacious. Some of the amenities here at the Gathering Hotel include a free breakfast as well as free nightly entertainment. They also have free bikes for hire as well as umbrellas and beach towels if you want to head down to the 12th Street Beach. It is also drag bingo tonight so we're going to head down there and check that out. The drag show at Gathering is super fun. There was a good mix actually of locals and uh, visitors. I think when the drag queen was asking, it was like pretty 50-50, but wow, they had a, a wheel to spin for prizes. They were giving out sauna, um, free passes, at least two rounds of free shots in the couple of hours that we were there. So it was a ton of fun. We are now up and uh, had the free breakfast and we are gonna head over to the Wynwood Walls to check that out and then have lunch with some friends before we head back to Tulum in Mexico. Well, that's it for our gay guide to Miami. For more on our recommendations here, be sure to check out our website at twogayexpats.com and please like and subscribe on our video. It really helps us out. Also follow us on social media at twogayexpats. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.